Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have Kyle Weatherman's number 47 Xfinity Darlington throwback. So, I don't know exactly what this throwback is to, but I know it's like some police or it might be like CHP or California Highway Patrol, something along those lines. I mean, of course, it's the classic black and white. You got the black doors, black, or not black doors, white doors, white roof, stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of research and uh, show you a picture here of what that throwback was actually to. But you guys know me, I love police stuff, I love law enforcement, so I definitely had to get this one. And honestly, I was kind of worried that they would not make this diecast, but this is like the, what, third number 47 diecast we've had? But I am really happy this diecast did get made, because again, you know, I love police stuff, law enforcement, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, with this being made was very, very awesome. I, you know, I wish we could get more of the lower teams, but I mean, for Mike Harmon Racing, right? I don't think we've gotten any Mike Harmon diecast until this year, or last year, technically. Either way, we got some Mike Harmon Racing diecast nonetheless, and it's pretty awesome, honestly, I will say that. So yeah, we're going to take a look at this black and white hashtag back the blue Darlington throwback for Kyle Weatherman. So here's the diecast out of the box. Now I'm talking like this because I'm a little disappointed, I'm not going to lie. I see quite a few mistakes. So first things first, I noticed this big old paint chip right here and then that paint chip right there and then I noticed the back when I took it out about how tall or how like messed up the taillights actually are I mean it's not a, like incredibly terrible but it is what was that is that dust I guess there was dust on the die cast and I haven't I haven't even had it out of the box so I, I should tell you something uh but yeah the these taillights are super high they're very up on the back bumper of that die cast so I don't really know what's going on there other than Lionel's amazing quality control. Uh, but yeah, so already I'm disappointed in the quality and we got some suspension, uh, apparently. I don't really know how that could happen because it's all, you know, multiple pieces that should all, you know, fall in the same place. But I don't know. I, I don't know how Lionel manages to do this. But you guys know I don't do an Xfinity series. I, don't, I only do a Cup series. I do not do a Truck series for the Little Wrangler Cup series, which of course is the stop motion series for my YouTube channel. Which is you know the stuff I do. Just it's about well, it used to be once every month. Now I've gotten a little a little slackish, right? So it's been once every like two months or something like that. But I will get back on that grind. I will actually start picking up and making a lot more videos with those diecasts and stuff like that. But I do have a plan for this, even though I don't have an Xfinity series. So here's what I'm going to do. In the 2020, well, okay, it's going to be 2021, obviously. But we're using 2020 diecast because we are a season behind for good reason. The reason the reason we are a season behind is simply because paint schemes, you know, we don't have, we don't get paint schemes as soon as they put on the track. So we get paint schemes months and months and months after. So if I'm a year behind in die cast or in paint schemes or drivers i will have a lot of time to get the brand new drivers the brand new paint schemes for the next season so the season is more accurate but for the next season using the 2020 die cast we will use this die cast right here as the pace car for the darlington race in the lwcs something a little special so yeah i do believe we're going to do that for that race so right here we got a paw and we got the blue stripe. Of course, that blue stripe represents the police force because if you know on the American flags, there's the uh, I think they call it the thin blue line, which I actually have a flag of that. So the thin blue line, it's a, it's a blue line. I think it's right underneath the stars. It's the very next line underneath the stars. It goes all the way across. I could be wrong on which line it is, but I know it is a line underneath the stars that go all the way from left to right in the color blue. But it's only one. It's not multiple. So you got Canaan right there. You got a little uh, dog paw right there. You got Patrol on each side of the hood. That's very, very cool. You got Xfinity right there on the banner, if you'll focus. The last time we've had that banner full-time was in 2017, I think. And I think we got a bigger problem right there. I'll take a look at that in a minute. But we got the 47 right there on the roof. A little bit of decal uh, cracking and tearing right there, but not too big of a deal. We got Weatherman right there on the back. Uh, I don't know why, but that looks super decal. Like, that looks like uh, Top Shelf Diecast decal. Like, I mean, it looks... It's a very pretty, like, metallic black compared to, like, the just matte black we normally get. So, it, that is a little weird. I'm not going to lie. So, that is uh, something a little different. Right there, we got the Journey Home project. And I believe what that is, it's just a... I don't know, like a project or some type of motion to get as many officers as home as possible, try to get as many homes safely as possible, you know, not get injured in any way. 
If I was to take a guest, uh, I, I guess that's what it would be. I'm assuming it would be some type of project or movement, per se, where, you know, officers can get back home more safely or more often, you know, something like that. Which, if that is true, I am very, very, very behind that. But right here on the back, we got the Camaro, and of course we got the taillights, which are very scuffed. We got the 47, the fake Camaro decal right there, which I hate that, honestly. Because again, on the underneath, you can see the exhaust pipe is right there, and not on the back. Over here on the side, we got back the blue, and then there it is, thin blue line right there. That's what I was talking about earlier. And then USA right there, we got the... Throwback tires, you got the 47 right there, you got the white CHP looking door, you got NASCAR race car, you got the Xfinity Series, Mobile One, ARP, and then you got the Goodyear right there above the tire again. Right here you got Simpson and Sunoco, and then of course going to the front we have Camaro and the 47 with the Camaro front end and all that good stuff. So, oh, what are these? Are those like... Hold on, what is... That's weird. So, okay, so I feel like they're trying to do some design with, like, lights, right? So you can see right here on this side... Oh, wait, no, okay, never mind, that's just a text. I thought it was, like, red, and I thought there was going to be blue on the other side. Because what I thought these were, I thought these were kind of, like, little lights on the front end, but they were just white. So I didn't know if they were supposed to be, like, red and blue. I didn't know, you know, because I didn't know if they were supposed to show any, like, actual sign of a decaled light other than the actual, like, legitimate lights on the front end. So I don't know, I guess I was going to try for something there, but I don't know, maybe not. So my problem is, first of all, I also noticed this. Got Officer Weatherman right there, pretty cool. So, look at this. You see that? It just looks all like wrinkled up and stuff, right? But I'm pretty sure it's bent. So if you look closely, oh yeah, look at that. That is bent out the max. That is completely awful. I have never, like, okay, so I've seen this before. I've seen people get die casts that have been bent. It looks like a hair stuck right there, too. But I've seen people get die cast who have just been, they've been, like, completely bent. Like, this A-post have, has been broken, it's been bent, and I've never got one myself, until now. So this is the first time I've got one of these, but still, that is highly unnecessary. I don't know how that's possible. I can get a few decal errors here and there. I can get a few mistakes here and there. You know, but like... Managing to have a damaged metal base and still working with it, trying to cover it up instead of just sparing one or two to fix the problem is crazy. I currently believe there is absolutely not one single piece of quality control from Lionel. There is no way in this world that that exists. No way. It's almost as real as Bigfoot, right? Now, you might be the person, oh, Bigfoot's real. Have you seen him? No? All right. Have you seen a Lionel quality control? No? All right. That's, uh, yeah. Like Bigfoot, that does not exist. That's not a thing. That doesn't, that doesn't happen. That Lionel does not have quality control. That, that doesn't happen. I'm sorry. Example A, right here. I can have example B, C, all, 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 like all the way through the alphabet. I can have every single example from the alphabet, A through Z. I can have every example from 1 to infinite. So, yeah, Lionel's quality control, there's no way it exists. There's been so many people who have simply stopped buying diecast due to this type of I don't know, production, I guess you could say. This, twi uh, this type of quality, this type of just treatment to how things go, I guess you could say. Because they don't listen to their audience, or whatever you want to call them. They don't listen to their buyers, or their consumers. So, Lionel has posted, we care about your opinion, we want the best diecast for you. You're not showing it. You're really not showing it. You're, you're honestly not showing it. There is no way you can say what you say on the fix and mean that. There's no way. Everybody laughs at that. Nobody believes that at all. Trust me, I love Lionel. I love this hobby. I love this pastime. I could have so much more money to put into so much or so many more things that I actually need instead of these chunks of metal.
easy. But no, I still choose to buy this product, or these products, I guess, and still support NASCAR, support Lionel, and, you know, have content for you guys, because I like interacting with everybody, meeting new people, stuff like that. I believe I'm going to have a, a round, I don't know, I was thinking about two paint schemes per driver for the LWCS, if I'm being honest. Now, of course, I don't want to do that. I really don't. I don't want to stop buying diecasts. I don't want to stop supporting Lionel or NASCAR in, either, in any way. And I don't want to stop YouTube. I don't want to stop Instagram. I don't want to stop that stuff. Because I like doing it. It gives me something to do. It takes my mind off a lot of things. And it helps me get through whatever I get through. Because I have something else, to, something else to occupy myself. Another thing is. This is the final thing I'm going to say before I head out of here. After this season, or next season, of the LWCS, well, this season too, I'm going to start selling probably 90% of my collection that I've bought over the years. That counts 2020, 2021, whenever, you know, those diecasts get released, 2019, 2018, 2017, all of those. The ones you will not see sold is stuff like this, the 47 Back to Blue, uh, any Alex Bowman diecast, a lot of Chase Elliott diecast, because he he, he's got some pretty good paint schemes. There's a lot of Kevin Harvick diecasts that I will not sell, just simply because, you know, the paint schemes are good. I loved having every single diecast that I bought in my site, in my collection. Now, I really gotta narrow it down to the ones I want. Because, I mean, I can't keep doing this. It's taking a lot. Taking a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of patience... So after the seasons are over, you're going to see a lot of them on bottom bag diecast. So, yeah. You're going to you're going to see a lot, especially after next season. See like you see all these diecasts right here. All the diecasts in the background. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm probably going to keep like what? 6, 5, 5, 6, 7 out of this entire wall. This wall is how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 long, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tall. So 9 times 9. I think that's like 36 die cast. 36 die cast right here on my wall, and I'm only going to keep like 5. That should tell you something. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it here. That is going to be all for this diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that little rant. I didn't mean to go on that long, but you know, I kind of had to say what I needed to. But again, that will be all. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Upside down.